Built to Last. So welcome to the Built to Last series. This series is all about building good, solid relationships and friendships across locations that will last you for you know your lifetime. That's right. We live in a world where everything's disposable, cups, phones, you use it, you chuck it away. But God puts us in relationships that actually build us up and should last for our whole life, through the good times and the bad times. So we're going to look at five topics over five weeks and we're starting today with uh, friendships. Why do we need them? Why do we need to be in friendships? Relationships. Unnecessary. Everybody needs to be in a relationship. Um, it's God's design. And, um, you know, relationships are not just male and female. They're about friendships. They're about, you know, uh, your mother, your father, your family relationships, your work relationships. So, you know, we're designed to be in relationships and to have healthy relationships. Yeah, you've got to be connected. If you're not connected, you're isolated. And when you're isolated, you get depressed, you get down, you get out of kilter. In fact, do you know that if you're in a relationship, you live longer? So here's a crazy thing, and like you think this is mad, but for older people, if they've got even a cat, a relationship with a cat or an animal, it makes them live longer. So actually, God has made us and built us to be healthy and to live longer if we've got good friendships and relationships. Biblical. Biblical, I think, you know, in the beginning, God created man, and when man was on his own, he decided it was not good for man to be alone, so it was God's idea to be in relationship. Even the Trinity is God in relationship with himself, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. So relationships are biblical. They are a part of the heartbeat of God. Yeah, and the Bible tells us how to have good relationships. So what kind of friends do I have? You know, what does marriage look like? Sure. Let's have a look in the manual and see what it says. Isolation. People always become weird in isolation. They always uh, convince themselves that their opinions are right about everything because um, there's no one there to balance what they think. So isolation is never good for anyone. You know, Adam was isolated and that's why God added Eve. So I think isolation is always a bad thing. And when people say, oh, I love Jesus, I, you know, I love God, I don't need to be in the church, they often become weird Christians because they've not got so much to challenge their doctrine to help them stay balanced. So yeah, isolation is bad. It, yeah, it's like when you, get to, when you get to 50 and you go shopping, clothes shopping, and you buy a coat and you think, this is the best coat I have ever seen in my whole life. And you bring it home and you put it on your whole family is like, dad, where are you going with that? It is awful. And I think when we haven't got friends, you know, wives and, and, and um, good relationships to speak the truth into our lives, we think everything is great when sometimes it's not. And I think that's the key thing. Good relationships bring biblical and holy good truth into your life. You took that coat back, didn't you? I took that coat right back. <laughs> Final thoughts? Final thoughts on why we need relationships okay so for me i would say everybody needs to actively work on being in community and i think some people really struggle to build friendships you might be more introvert than extrovert but understanding you need other people is the first basis for not giving yourself permission to cut off stay at home be in isolation when when it's easier necessarily than building so no matter what age you are go to young adults go to nya go to youth uh, go to connect groups uh, really actively and intentionally build relationships. Yeah, if you have good relationships in your life, guaranteed, hands down, you'll be happier, you'll be healthier, True. and you'll be much more fulfilled.